guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and for episode 5 in my fashion basics series, the final episode which is on how to dress up an outfit. So in this video I'm going to show you different ways you can tweak your outfit with a few tips and tricks on how you can dress effortlessly all the time and easily dress up an outfit. So I really hope you enjoy this video, links will always be down below in the description box if you see anything that you like and please watch until the end because there'll be loads of information throughout. I hope you like it and let's get into it. <laughs> so the first tip is to always slightly overdress. So let's say for example my friends messaged me and said hey I'm gonna go out for a meal tonight. I'm thinking oh my gosh what do I wear? So I've put on this black crocodile mini skirt and this black off the shoulder bardo top. Both were from ASOS with a pair of nude heels from Charles and Keith. So I've put on this and I'm starting to worry thinking oh my gosh what if my friends gone for a more casual look because smart casual is such a hard kind of clothing definition because someone's smart is very different to someone else's smart and the same with the whole smart casual thing it can be so confusing so if you're stuck and you don't really know what to wear you feel like oh I don't want to be too overdressed but I don't want to be too underdressed it's always best to be more overdressed because when you're more overdressed you look more put together and you look like you've made more of an effort it's always better to be slightly overdressed for an occasion rather than underdressed and you can very easily make an outfit look a lot more underdressed in a few seconds so let's say I've got to the restaurant my friend is very casual I'm thinking oh no I look way too dressed up today what you can do is bring a casual piece with you. So let's say I packed this denim jacket in my car with me. I can just run back to my car or maybe I'm at my car. I don't know. Wherever we're going with this story, I'm not quite sure. But let's say I've got my denim jacket. All I need to do is throw my denim jacket over the top and I've instantly made this look a little bit more casual. So I would feel a lot more happier going into the restaurant putting on this denim jacket and I just feel like I've really dressed down the look. Now let's say I've got on these heels and I still feel a little bit uncomfortable. What I could do is just switch them to a pair of trainers or a pair of flats. So a pair of flats like this are perfect because they can so easily be dressed up or down. So because they're quite casual, they're not too too high and the style is quite casual, they can work well for, you know, a smart look or a casual look too. So if I felt like I was way too dressed up with these heels, I would just switch my shoes into these sandals. And it really is as easy as that. So the basic rule I'm trying to say here is always overdress but take a casual, you know, jacket with you or take a check shirt with you or, you know, a denim shirt with you that you can just throw over the top of the outfit if you feel a little bit too overdressed. So let's say I've got on this basic outfit of a blue pair of jeans, a black off the shoulder top and a pair of trainers and I'm wanting to dress it up. So the first thing you can do is add your accessories. So here I've just added this gold necklace from Pretty thing and this just really dresses the outfit up and makes it look a little bit more kind of unique to me if you know what I mean it's got kind of a little bit of personality in the outfit by me putting on my own jewelry you could also add things like your own earrings so for example I could put on these blue drop earrings from misguided and you can see here how this instantly really dresses up the look and it's taken quite a basic just top jeans and trainers outfit and dressed it up with my accessories and my jewellery. But let's say I've got on these jeans and I'm really wanting to dress the outfit up a little bit more. I feel like the jeans are too casual for the occasion. A great and easy way to instantly dress up your outfit is to switch your jeans to a pair of trousers. And by switching to a pair of trousers it just dresses the look up instantly. Instantly. So for example, I'm going to change my jeans into these paper bag uh, tie waist trousers from ASOS. So I've just changed the jeans into these trousers and you can so instantly see how this has just really dressed up the look and given me a much more kind of uh, classy and put together outfit just by switching the jeans to a pair of trousers. Now let's say I put these on and I still feel like the trousers are a little bit overdressed. I could just put a denim jacket over the top again just to dress down the look and it really is that simple so you could literally wear this outfit out in the day shopping just wear your denim jacket your smart trousers and your off the shoulder top with your trainers and then all you'd need to do for the evening is to just take your jacket off maybe switch the trainers to a pair of you know nice flats or a pair of heels 
and that's just how easily you can dress an outfit up. So then if I wanted to dress this look up even more, I could add a pair of gold statement earrings like this. Now I wouldn't necessarily wear the gold necklace and these gold earrings together just because I do think the earrings are quite, you know, big and take up a lot of the space here. So I'd probably just go for the earrings, but you can just see how that instantly dresses the outfit up even more. So by picking a more kind of statement pair of earrings like this, rather than, you know, a pair of hoops or just a delicate necklace, it really transforms the outfit and takes it to the next level. So now I'm going to show you a couple of ways on how you can style an outfit like this and dress it up. So a great tip is to wear a monochromatic look. And a monochromatic look is an outfit made up of all one colour. So touching on the last episode where I mentioned about colours and things, if you wear an all beige look, an all white look, or an all solid colour look, like an all red look, or uh, I can't remember what colours I've said now. All black look? I don't know. <laughs> Let's say you're wearing an all solid colour look like I've got on here. It's a really good idea to wear different textures. So for example, I'm styling this white denim skirt. Denim is quite a casual uh, texture, so I'm wearing it with this smart texture, which is a sheer top. And just by mixing the sheer top with the denim, it just dresses the denim up a little bit because this is a smart fabric and this is a much more casual fabric. And because of the same colors too, this instantly looks a lot more kind of put together and chic. So I've just got this on with a pair of trainers. Now to dress the look up, there's a couple of ways you can do it. First, you could switch your shoes to a more uh, smarter pair of shoes. So I'm gonna put on these kind of, uh, I wouldn't, are they mules? Is that the word? I'm gonna put on these mules, which are from a brand called Daniel Footwear. And just by changing my shoes from trainers to these, it will instantly dress the outfit up. So as you can see here, just by me switching my shoes, I've dressed the look up a little bit more. These are still quite casual shoes because the heel isn't too high and the style is quite casual, I think, with the, you know, the geometric print on the heel. It's not super, super formal, but it's just dressed the look up and made it look a little bit more kind of put together and taken away from the casual trainer look. So the next thing we can do is to start accessorizing the outfit. So I could add Add a you know a cool belt here just to really dress the outfit up so I've just added this nude belt around the middle and you can see how that's just really quickly dressed this very casual outfit up and made it look kind of a lot more chic and put together and this just again really quickly dresses the skirt up and makes it look a little bit more put together now the jewelry you choose can completely change the whole feel of your outfit let's say you go for a thick gold chain like this because this uh, piece of jewelry is so thick and chunky it really does give off quite a uh, loud look if that makes sense so with this outfit this is such a statement I don't know if you, it picks it up on the camera but it really is really thick and chunky and it just kind of adds a bit of glamour to the outfit it very much dresses it up to a whole new level compared to the necklace I'm going to show you next which is a lot more kind of reserved and dainty <laughs> So then when I put on this gold necklace, because it's a lot thinner, it really suits the chain belt that I've got on with this outfit. And it also gives off a bit more of a daytime look, just because it's a lot more subtle than the last chain necklace I just showed you. So when you've got on a belt and a necklace, sometimes it can be a little bit too much to add earrings into the mix. Just because we've already got quite a lot going on here, we don't really want to add another load of stuff to the outfit when it's not needed so if you are wearing something like this and you're wearing a belt i would probably steer away from earrings or i'd pick between the earrings or the necklace to see which suits the outfit best but i do feel like adding these earrings it would just be a little bit too much but if you still wanted to add earrings you could go for a pair of hoops instead and i just think the hoops are a lot more subtle and they go with this outfit a lot more just because they're not so huge so yeah if if you're not really sure what earrings to wear but you still want to wear earrings I think hoops are always a really good choice and then finally for a bag I'm gonna go for this white one with the gold hardware again the gold matches the whole look with the kind of chain jewelry theme I've got going on and this is quite a dressy bag so it will really help to dress this look up even more and don't forget hats too hats are such a good way to dress up an outfit just by adding a wide brimmed hat like this it can instantly make an outfit look so much more chic and glamorous and I yeah I just love hats and I think they just make such such a difference so please don't overlook them they're really 
really, really good. So I know I've gone a little bit overboard with this look. I've got everything going on, but you can just see how adding these accessories, wearing a monochromatic outfit like this and mixing the textures can really help to dress an outfit up. And it really is that easy. Just play with your accessories, put on your hats, your jewelry, and it will really dress up basic pieces like this white denim skirt and a basic sheer top. It just really takes the outfit to the next level. So that is it from me. I hope you've enjoyed this series and that it's helped you build outfits, you know, feel more comfortable wearing color, working with the clothes you already have in your wardrobe. I really hope the whole series has helped you feel more confident when you're dressing. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you did like it for more content like this. I'm planning on posting a lot more kind of helpful uh, how-to videos for fashion too. So please stay tuned for all of those have a great day oh uh, please leave your thoughts in the comments too because i always love to hear what you think thanks so much for watching and supporting me and yeah i feel sad that it's come to an end but i'm also quite glad because i'm sick of hearing my own voice <laughs> have a great day and i will see you all in my next video bye guys also this hat looks really weird from this angle i don't know if i can take myself seriously let alone you should listen to my advice <laughs>